now we're working on a BMW, it's a 3 Series 2006 E90 and we do have a problem showing up on the dashboard as I will show you and just put the key in the ignition and start the engine And as you can see, we have the ABS and brake warning light showing up. And then there they are as well. You can see that well. Um, so basically what we need to do is uh, hook it up to a scan tool which can diagnose the fault. Um, and I'm going to uh, use a diagnostic tool which will show you where the fault is um, and then hopefully we can get the fault fixed and then reset using that diagnostic tool as well. Um, remembering it's a 2006 E90 uh, BMW 3 Series. Alright, so we have the tool, uh, sorry, the vehicle hooked up to the uh, iCarSoft i910 scan tool. Uh, as you can see, this is the box for it here. Um, and the error message that we're getting there, as you can see, is 5DB0, real speed sensor, uh, supply rear left. Um, so that's the, uh, the fault code that we're going to look at. Um, and then what we're going to have to do now is have a look at the, well, we're going to have to change out the ABS sensor for the rear left and then see if that will clear the air bar, sorry, the uh, ABS light on the dashboard there. So we'll change that over and see if we can get this uh, fault uh, dash light removed. So the first thing we need to do to check the ABS sensor is to jack up the vehicle and remove the rear wheel. Guys, vehicle's jacked up, wheel is off, ABS sensor. What we need to do is if you can see this cable here, this is the ABS sensor cable. Eh? So we need to remove that bolt there and the sensor should pull out. And then if you follow the, the lead it runs underneath there and it comes out here and it goes, plugs in just under this uh, piece of material here. So what you can do is take a 10 mil and then do this. You see it, it comes off really easy. So you can lift this back. And there you will see where the ABS sensor is plugged in. Simply pull that out. And it should disconnect really easily. It should. But then again, I've got a camera in one hand. Let's see if I can do this with the other one. There you go. So you just need to unravel the ABS sensor and put the new one in. This is the new ABS sensor. Um, notice the part number. Generally it will be the same on your vehicle, but um, it might not always be the case, so you might need to double check it. Um, came from www.bavariandominator.co.uk That's a good price. Um, I've used them before for ABS sensors. So, definitely give it a try. So we'll get this hooked up. The ABS sensor is in there. So all we really need to do now is just... this back on. And then we'll go into the vehicle where we should be able to now clear the fault codes. Right, so we've hooked the new ABS sensor back up. As you can see, the ABS light is still showing on the dashboard. But what we need to do is go in and actually erase the trouble codes. Uh, we might need to then start moving the vehicle 
in order to see the ABS light disappear but the first step is to erase the trouble codes so we'll just go back in we'll erase trouble code Ah, and it has actually removed the ABS light. So that is a good success.